she's talked about how much she loves playing here in Canada. I loved her interview with Angela the other day, asking Tim Hortons for a sponsorship. She, she said she talked to her friend. She got a lot of messages after that interview saying she needs to go there more often. She yeah. needs to have more Tim Hortons. And young Co now, this for Birdie. She's currently five under par. I'll swing a little to her left, going up through the shadows. Trying to go. Okay, not too bad. It must have been that last little drop that she had of the club, but but again, that's something that nobody else in the field would have ever seen yeah. or we, called on her. We no. couldn't see it from, especially our camera angle. All right, Shen Yang Ko now hit that bunker shot. This for birdie at 11. Just to get to six under. Let's get a little closer at the top of the leaderboard. There's some pretty good names. Fifth strokes gained tee to green, sixth in greens and red. It's just a spectacular recipe. This one, maybe a touch of a tug, but gets that nice hop. Is that going to come back off that backstop at all? Jin Young Ko at the 12th for birdie. Just get this started on your line so fast. It just broke right, right away. When the putts are that quick, it's hard to keep it on your line as long as you'd like. You really have to play a ton of break. Jin Young Ko now for birdie. And co lead. Got it. <laughs> this is good. This is going to get exciting now. Jin Young Ko tied for second. Let's look at her tee shot with her top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. No driver here for Jin Young. Yeah, choosing an interesting play. She's got plenty of length. Rosang 78, Daniel Kang 77. Hard golf course. Let's see if laying up pays off for Jin Young Ko. Uh, she wants to get that back. Again, she laid up on this drivable par four. No, she's not maybe at the highest heights that we've seen her. But she still won twice and a chance to win a third this week. Jin Young Ko. to get something to fade back in there to get it to stop. They're not going to do it. It's just no way to get it close from there. Jin Young Ko now for birdie at 15. We've seen this putt sometimes go left, sometimes wiggle out to the right. Oh, it's got the speed. It's going to wiggle right. Oh, it tried to wiggle back left. Beautiful putt. What a good day for Jin Young Ko. She is a couple under. How about the lie here? I can't quite tell, but it looks like it might be in a little bit of an old divot of some kind. Oh, needs to hit it more often. It almost in another hole. He's going to have that to tie Kang at eight under. She would have gotten a good read from the other side of the hole. Falls just a fraction to her right. We go to the 17th. And Jin Young Ko now her tee shot. Now just three shots back. Anxiously waiting for this. This has got a chance. Go in. Oh, and oh, wow. Very unlucky there. One bounce went in and out. And now it's all the way to the back of the green. Gotta stay up. Wow. No time like the present to make a whole lot. Big par putt for Jin Young Ko. Can she get it out high enough? Nope. She didn't play either one high enough. So she nearly makes one. She walks off with four. Mm. It's a cruel game. Yeah, Jim, I'm, I'm still not sure. Looked a lot this week like the Jin Young Ko that got to number one in the world more weeks than 
anyone ever has. It's just all about finding the right swing thought for Jin Young. Earlier this year was had a little bit of a lower body swing thought that was working really well. Lately, maybe a little bit more upper body. There are so many different ways to accomplish the same thing. You just sometimes have to think about it in a little bit of a different fashion. It's going to be a 71 today with uh, the scoring average 73 for the field. So picks up a shot.